welcome back to CabSat TV for 2014. And I'm joined now, and I'm very happy to be joined by Shazra Rafati from Broadband TV. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, it's been a great show so far. Uh, you say a great show, great keynote speech. You're the first one kicking off uh, the event here. Um, a wonderful speech this morning, and very interactive as well. No, it was, it was a great experience, and uh, I really like the fact that it was interactive, lots of great questions, and uh, it's great to have both uh, broadcasters, you know, media companies, and some of the digital players in all in one room, and then and, and it's great to kind of, uh, for all of us to sit around a table and figure out how we can actually solve challenges that we're all facing today. Now, your space. speech was, was covering digital content, and you called that a, a world of opportunity. Um, and you are the queen of that, aren't you? I mean, you have uh, 120 million uh, subscribers, yes. 1.2 billion uh, users which access your, your videos. Those are correct figures or has that increased? Yeah, we've been growing quite a lot and uh, the latest numbers are 1.5 billion monthly views and uh, uh, we reach hundreds of millions of subscribers. Um, and uh, no, it's, it's, it's been great. I think, you know, yes, earlier we talked about some of the trends uh, as it relates to global trends and also trends uh, specific to the region. Uh, and I think, you know, if, if you kind of overall across various different regions, we kind of have seen this uh, massive shift uh, in terms of both consumption across digital platforms. Uh, and as we all know, uh, monetization always follows consumption. So uh, we see a shift of ad spendings going towards digital with video being the fastest growing format. And the way that the media is being consumed now, that has posed some problems in the past for traditional broadcasters, traditional creators of media. Mm. And it's all about using the new technology, the digital content and the digital delivery to maximize on that, as you say. Very true. I think, you know, as, as uh, broadcasters, you need to kind of uh, look at the space and, you know, uh, look at your the value proposition, what you bring to the table, and really try to optimize it and understand uh, all the different uh, uh, digital platforms and your play as it relates to each of them. Because, again, these platforms, whether if it's owned and operated or if you're working with a third-party uh, site like YouTube, uh, they, the uh, user behavior is very specific to the platform, and you really, really need to understand the user to be able to optimize your strategy. Uh, and I think that you know another key trend that we talked about was mobile, uh, and how uh, you know even when you look at regions like the Middle East, uh, you see that mobile penetration is massive, with more than 50% in uh, Emirates and you know 40% uh, in Saudi. Um, you really can't uh, kind of take mobile as a complementary screen. You know, the way we look at it, we feel that mobile is the first screen, mobile consumption is growing. Uh, and the same thing, you know, ad dollars are, are obviously, you know, ad spendings on mobile are also growing as well. So as you say, what some people would consider to be the new technology in some regions is already becoming the default route for the delivery. Absolutely, absolutely. Look at, uh, for example, YouTube with more than 4 billion views a day. Um, it's, it's just, you know, the numbers are there. It's just about us embracing d these new methods of distribution and understanding our users and really capitalizing on it. Now you say sure. embracing. Absolutely. To a lot of traditional broadcasters and content producers, digital is a scary thing. What would your advice be to them? I think, you know, it's very important for you to, uh, um, I like, I like uh, Sanjay earlier from uh, Guru Media, he mentioned something which was very interesting. He said, you know, you invest in your children for the future, right? You don't make uh, a really uh, short-term decisions uh, that are just driven solely on monetization. Uh, you're looking at how the new generation is consuming content, uh, where they're spending their time, and you really need to capitalize on that and understand that um, you know you need to have a proper strategy behind it. And this can be done just through just an acquisition, or you know uh, whether if you're an advertising agency or a broadcaster, you need to really integrate that with your core strategy as it relates to uh, distribution of content or and programming. So nothing to be scared of. I, I don't think you should be scared if you're embracing it and if you're smart and you know you're working on it on one cohesive strategy across various different platforms. Shashrad, apologies for the fly. But <laughs> no. Thank you very much for joining us here at Capsat TV. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.